Part Two, Crimson Flower, Great Tree Moon, Field of Revenge. With the capture of Aryan Road complete, the Imperial Army moves to invade the Kingdom capital. They plot to send troops toward now vulnerable House Fraldarius territory and plan to attack Ferdiad from two sides. So, Aryan Road has fallen. Rodrigue, I swear that I will not allow your death to be in vain. The scouts have just now returned. Seems the Imperial Army is marching toward the Kingdom capital. Are you certain about this, Dimitri? As King, do you think it wise to intercept them yourself? No need to worry yourself. Even if I am defeated, the Blathed bloodline will live on. And the Kingdom's territory has never been rich in resources. If the castle falls under siege, our loss is inevitable. I will deploy my army onto the plains and wait for the enemy. Please, position your forces so that they can flank the Imperial Army. Yes. Given the present situation, making the plains our battlefield is a logical choice. I have no objection. However... There is only one person I am after. I have no interest in any other prey. I will take you at your word. Erasing the other child's existence is my task, and mine alone. I will get you back, Mother. I promise. With Aryan Road behind them, the Black Eagle Strike Force marches north to Ferdiad. They plan for the Imperial Army, stationed in former Alliance territory, to take over Fraldarius land, so they are able to attack Ferdiad from two directions. King Dimitri anticipates the Imperial Army's strategy, leading the Kingdom Army and Rhea's Knights of Seros out of Ferdiad, and prepares to intercept the Imperial Army at the Tail Team Plains. Mother. Oddly, the rain has come to fall yet again. At this place, once again, I will fight to take you back. The one who keeps me from seeing you again. I will be sure to return them to the earth from whence they came. The foolish descendant of Hresvelk, who bears her fangs at me, will suffer the same fate. Lady Rhea. Call me Seros now. I am no longer the Archbishop, but rather a warrior. Yes, Lady Seros. Because of the rain, we have not yet confirmed the position of our enemy, or of the Kingdom Army. Search the route to Ferdiad. It is unlikely that they have strayed far from it. When you discover the Imperial Army's main force, commence the attack. If the Kingdom's army has already engaged, flank the enemy as planned. As you wish. Wait for me, dear child. I will be paying you a visit soon. When this sword has been plunged into your chest, yes. That is the very moment I long for. I was hoping they would strike the church first. We must have miscalculated the rate of their advance. Reorganize the formation. We have no choice but to buy time until the church arrives. It will be a long battle. Are you afraid to do? No. So long as I am at your side, there is nothing to fear. I can always rely on you. Just watch, my friend. We will prevail. I will not fail to get revenge for all who have fallen. I would follow you anywhere, Your Majesty. Good luck out there. You as well, Dudu. You as well. Your Majesty. For you, I will. A flag of blue is flapping in the rain. It must be the Kingdom Army. Yes. It seems that King Dimitri is leading the troops himself. However, the Knights of Saros have yet to be seen. Perhaps they have split up. 
I can't imagine that Dimitri would leave the capital to the church and face us with the Kingdom Army alone. He must be planning to use the church to gain the upper hand in battle. With the rain, that must be difficult to coordinate. Still, the Knights of Saros must be around here somewhere. And we should be on alert for attacks from the side and rear as well. Inform the entire army. Yes, sir. Now that I think about it, the Kingdom's army is quite different than it once was. They have taken a position of interception. In the past, the King would have introduced himself before beginning a fair fight. A fair fight? The words alone remind me of how he once was. Don't you agree, Professor? Of all the people in the world, why would talk of a fair fight remind you of Claude? I'm talking about Dimitri. Have you forgotten? He often spoke of such things back at the monastery. Well, at the present, the words fair fight do not seem to suit Dimitri anymore. He dislikes making victims of his friends. But other than that, he will do most anything these days. If he stops at nothing to continue the onslaught, I cannot imagine what will become of the battlefield. True. As soon as we can take our battle formation, we must advance. Dimitri, that past you cling to, I will soon free you from it. Ah, here you are, Edelgard, at your eternal resting place. You have trampled and stolen and blinded yourself to the truth. Today, I will have vengeance for all you have done. With this battle, the main force of the kingdom will be annihilated. Leave no enemy general alive, least of all King Dimitri. We are uncertain of the enemy's plans, so let us advance our troops with caution. The Knights of Saros have yet to show themselves. They will join the battle at some point. Be ready. I'll do my best. Once walked this world of Saros, the warrior and defeated the fell king Nemesis. Now, here I stand, facing one who wields the same sword as he. The fate you have chosen is also the same as his. To die in torment upon my sword, as the very lifeblood you have forsaken spills onto the earth. Let's give this a try. Ancestor of the Harestelks, who became Adrestia's first emperor. He saved me, supported me, gave his all to the cause of defeating Nemesis. That I should find myself here at Teotine, striking down his sign. I don't advise presumptions, Rhea. I will not die by your hand. The Church of Saros has fallen back, but we have no such luxury. Everyone, fight for your lives! Victory to Fargus! Pull my weight. We'll never understand the burden His Majesty carries on his shoulders. Your 
Majesty. You must survive. To do. You fought well, my friend. You want to die? Not only have you become the Emperor's lapdog, but you have turned against your own people. From the depths of hell, you will regret tainting the land of Vargas. You killed Rodrigue. Your own father, Felix. I said I'd cut down anyone who stood in my way. Even my father. Even my friends. I see. That was all I needed to hear to finally work up the resolve to kill you. Let's try something clever. Must you continue to conquer? Continue to kill? Must you continue to reconquer? Continue to kill in retaliation? I will not stop. There is nothing I would not sacrifice to cut a path to Fodlin's new dawn. Enough of this madness! This future of yours is built on a foundation of corpses and tears! <laughs> this is gonna hurt! Why did you choose Edelgard, Professor? Why did you choose to walk this savage, bloody path? I cannot shake this feeling of regret. Regret that I must kill you now. You will not kill one more soul. You will not steal one more thing. I will not allow it! Here, and now, I stand against you! Here is something to believe in! Your Majesty. Your Majesty! <laughs> Stop calling me that. Oh, thank the... No! To do. It seems I will die before I can get revenge for everyone. <laughs> my family, my friends, my home. Everything that truly mattered to me. You're wrong. Because of you, I was able to live on until today. You saved me. These past nine years, I am proud to have been at your side. It was a joy I never could have hoped for. Despite all, I count myself a lucky man. Is that so? <laughs> I see. I am glad. You must be weary, Your Majesty. Please, rest in peace. Lady Rhea, King Dimitri has fallen in battle. The Kingdom's army has retreated. It is impossible to preserve the front line. Everyone withdraw immediately. Fall back to Ferdiad. The Goddess is watching over us. If we hold strong, we will surely be saved. Understood. Retreat! Why do you insist on being such a loathsome obstacle? You stole my mother's heart and wield the sword of the Creator, just like that savage King Nemesis. I swear, with these very hands, I will take her back. Until then, wait for me, dear mother. Rhea, 
She is our enemy, but I must admit that she plays her cards magnificently. You mean using the goddess's name in order to boost morale? That's true, but she also shows great skill in devising her tactics. Using the bewildered Kingdom army as a shield while she and the knights retreated. If they ran all the way back to Ferdiad, it will be very difficult to pursue them. Yes, together we'll end this once and for all. For all the lives lost in battle, by our allies and foes alike. And for Dimitri as well. Yes, the thirst for revenge that imprisoned him was the result of my uncle's strategy. He believed that I was the cause of everything, and he lost sight of his path as king. There was nothing I could do to save him. And so, the very least I could do was... No, the Edelgard who shed tears died many years ago. Everything that's happened, it's all just part of the ebb and flow of history. The tragedy of Dusker, our days at the Academy, father's death, and the five years you were gone. After all of that, at long last, we're here, at this point in time. I hope you'll stay by my side until the very end. It's time for humanity to take this world back. Yes, the thirst for revenge. The thirst that for revenge the that I have planted will infest the system. The